What up guys, it's Marty Blends back with another tutorial and today we have a clean low fader run through so let's get into it. First off, you want to comb the hair into its natural position. Moisten up your canvas to prepare the client for an even sectioning. With your comb now, create two identical sections on each side of the head. You do this to part the top hair away from the bottom section we're going to be working on so nothing could come in the way. With your number 3 guard open, debulk to clear up any room we'll use to blend. Remember you want to flare away from digging in when getting closer to the parietal area. Another quick tip is to actually feed the clipper some hair using your comb. This actually works in your favor so use it. Okay, notice since it is a low fade, we tend to leave a bit more bulk than usual within the dark portion of our blend. Trust me, it will look better once we bring down the top hair, but for now, this is what we're working with. Now clipper over comb and clear up any harsh lines within the dark portion of our blend. With your preferred trimmer, create your baseline all around the head. Be sure to contour this to the client's head shape. Keep in mind you don't want to add dramatic pressure into the scalp as it will make it more difficult to remove the bottom baseline later on. Now with your trimmer, remove everything underneath. Next with your clipper and the lever open, create a half inch guideline. Be sure to lead with one corner to be more accurate on what you're cutting. Using the one and a half, open, scoot up about a full inch, flick out a tad as you reach the top of the guideline. Okay, next with the number two open, just blend everything from the one and a half we just used to the number three from debulking. Easy. Alright, slap the half guard on, open the lever and move up half an inch from the top of the lever open that we made earlier. It really helps if you use more corners. Using the one open just break any line within the dark and light area. Now I shall say this is fairly simple, but you don't really want to create a new guideline so flick away just a tad bit. Another thing is some hair types could do away with this step, so really watch if you need this step or not, you don't want to force it in. Bring back the half guard, but this time closed all the way to soothing out anything left underneath that. Notice how I simply use my corners to get into hard to reach places. This allows you to nitpick what needs work and add in fine detail. With your clipper and the lever fully closed, this time hit that baseline. If you can still see lines above this step, keep opening up the lever a notch and just move up the tad. 
Remember that some hair types will need more detail and more work than others, so just keep that in mind. And here I just use my third notch to finish off our blend. It's fair to say this is a step you need more corners on, so make sure you really focus on it, not working with a full blade, or you could push the blend upwards. Guys, you always want to make sure you come back and detail every dark spot or imperfections you see. This indeed does defer you from other barbers, so lock in and put that extra effort in. Guys, if you'd like a more in-depth personal experience learning how to become a full-time elite barber, be sure to find me at martyblendsuniversity.com. Also, if you like these guards I use in every video, click the link on the screen or log into martyblends.com to grab your set. Bulk work actually matters, which means you do want to come back and get rid of all uneven darkness. As you can see here, I even add a bit of freehand to make sure we get every speck of hair. Okay, this step is optional, but using a shaver, take out all the stubble left underneath that baseline. If you have a hard time knowing where that baseline was, just end up lower than where you think it is and use a trimmer to take out that gap. Using a shaver does add contrast to your blend, which I really recommend doing every single time. Alright, now we line up. Separate the top hair from the lineup itself and clip away. I personally add in hairspray to make sure everything stays intact and hit that with my liner starting in the center, working my way off to the sides. When it comes to the C cups, be creative on how you can make the natural line go with whatever you're aiming at. It's different for everyone, but the more you practice, of course, you'll get better. As for sheer work, we just ended up cutting minimal tips in certain uneven areas. Simple, but just wanted to keep the longer look so it could go with the bulk down below. Always prep the model to walk off the chair, and by this I mean make sure we add in product and style to get the best out of that haircut you just worked on. That's been it. Thanks for watching and God bless.